going on people? Welcome to the United Stand. I am here as the sun is falling behind me in Perth. Lovely. It's a bit nippy at the moment. Day two of the vlog. This is what we've got coming up for you. Um, we're enjoying it here so far. We are jet lagged as hell. But forget all of that. I've got to talk transfers first. And Man United are linked with Mario Lamina of Southampton. Some of you saying, who's that? Now listen, he is a Gabonese 25-year-old um, currently playing at Southampton. Been out of favour a lot because he's been injured and apparently Manchester United are making somewhat of like a £15 million bid. Box-to-box -box midfielder. It does scream underwhelming at the start of it. Apparently, Arsenal going in for him as well and that always is a bit sceptical. And If you think about it, if we're going at a £15 million bid for um, a player who's at Southampton and they broke their transfer record for him from Juventus, it doesn't look like he's one of the hottest commodities in Europe. It does scream underwhelming. No disrespect to Arsenal. It seems like more of an Arsenal signing. And I know that can be, come across a bit like, well, hang on a minute, we're just as shit as them. I get that. But if we're looking to really kick on, the players will be, there's more excited midfielders to be linked to for me. Um, he's been plagued with injuries, um, especially last season. I think he missed like four or five months of the season and really struggled. So he started his career at Laurent, went on to Marseille, and then he was bought by Juventus. And when you're looking at that, you're thinking, you know what? That's not too bad. Juventus bought him for, I think they, they loaned him first and they bought him for about nine and a half million and made the move permanent. I think he signed a four year deal and the following season, um, sorry, he spent two seasons there, I believe, and then he was snapped up by Southampton and they smashed their transfer record for him. So uh, the fact that they're not doing everything they can to hang on to him kind of gives us an indication as where this player's at. I've seen, I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to say I've seen loads of him and I've taken note and I've always thought we should go for him because I'll be lying. I've seen him a couple of times for Southampton, looks okay, energetic, quick sort of thing, box to box, can break up play. Is he any better than Herrera who we just let go? Probably not. Um, would he be better than Matic? Alright, he'd be more mobile and quicker, I'll give him that, but the quality, maybe not. Um, it's underwhelming if Pog believes, would that be substantial to get someone like him in and then a long staff? No. Um, and also the Bruno Fernandes situation is still going on there, so really underwhelming for us and like I said, the thing for me that screams out warning signs is the fact that Southampton are like, all right, see you later then. He hasn't gone on their pre-season tour as well. Apparently he's asked um, Hassan Hutu to leave. He's not in their plans and they're not exactly trying to hold on to him. We saw the fight that we had with Crystal Palace with Juan Bissaka. Um, someone who kind of, he had obviously a whole season in his breakthrough. But we've, we've seen that if he's a very genuinely good player, I know he's a little bit younger, the team's going to fight to hold on to him. And Southampton aren't doing that. Southampton, you know, they've, they've had loads of players. They're like, they're like the feeder club of the Premier League. They are the feeder club of the Premier League. They sell everyone to everyone. And they, they get good money for their players. You've only got to look at the likes of Virgil van Dijk, Adam Lallana. Um, mine's gone blank now, but a few more. Obviously, um, Luke Shaw, Aaron Ramsey, Oxley Chamberlain, etc., etc., Gareth Bell. So, look, they're not exact, they do business well. And the fact that they're willing to listen to offers very easily and very readily makes me think, they're, they seem like they're fine without him. So why should we make someone our primary target? Someone like Southampton who are fine without him. I don't know, it just, it just underwhelms me, man. So let me know your views in the comments on that, um, what you think. Mario Lamina, 15 million from Southampton. Now it's time to get into day two of the vlog. You're going to see just how difficult that flight was. Okay, it's 2.30 in the morning. I'm absolutely knackered. I've had absolutely no sleep. No, it's not. It's about half 11, I've had a lot of sleep and I'm here at the airport, not just by myself, but with this guy. Yes, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's there, he's there. I am here. You're feeling good, you made it on time. I made it on time, yep. <laughs> no problems. And we're not gonna miss the flight. We're not gonna miss well, the flight. Well, the plane's right there and we're here, so we definitely can't no miss the flight from here. 100%. Um, obviously, like, Tour of Asia 2019, man. Ooh, you know what I mean? Get in there. A lot of games, look, listen, I am super gassed to do this. We've got so much content coming for you. I've got to be with this guy every single day for about three weeks. It's going to be awesome, mate. <laughs> and even more funny is that you lot are forced to listen to us or see us every single day on these screens because we're doing daily vlogs every single day. Every day. Letting you know not only what's going on with Man United, but bringing you closer to the fans that are out there. We've got some secret little football stuff going on, which we're not going to reveal. That will be coming to you guys later. We'll be on the other side showing you the hotel and after Perth and we've done all the, uh, the games, the fan cams, all of that. We're on the, another plane, straight to Singapore. It's mm -hmm. gonna be too hot for Josh, he's gonna be baking his ass off. Humidity, 83%. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a 100 percentile, <laughs> yeah. 
17 away from the top number, 83%. Yeah, you're going to be hot. And thunderstorm at the same time. That's the, that's the biggest thing I'm worried about this trip, yeah. I've looked at the weather. Australia looks all right. Singapore and China, I saw bare rain, but like 30 degrees. What do you do? Have I got to just have a vest and an umbrella? Man? That's what it means. Just have to get wet, because you're going to be like, wet, yeah. it's bare hot. Yeah, we go exactly. outside in the rain. <laughs> yeah. So um, after Singapore, then we're going to hit up Shanghai as well into China. So um, and it's even hotter there, and even more rainy. I've seen. Um, so yeah, man, keep it locked. We're going to um, go on a plane now for 16 hours and 45 minutes, so not long. Got stuff to watch. Yeah. I got, I got work to do, innit? Yeah, he's got work to do. I'm going to be watching Stranger Things. Um, no spoilers. And I'm going to be watching Shaft. And I'm going to be watching some Marvel films that I, that I need to just catch up on. Even though I've seen Avengers Endgame and I know everything that's happened, I'm just going to go back and watch a couple to try and make sense He's of it He's behind, all. man. Sorry. But I'm not that into Marvel. But anyway, yes. So I will see you guys on the other side. So this guy. Peace. Peace. Yes, mate. I can't do this. I <laughs> actually can't do this. This is... Obviously, I knew this is the furthest place I've been to, yeah. But 16 and a half hours, I thought, like, you know what, at least it's not that 24 hour thing, like, it's a direct flight. I don't think I could do this. I think I've been on this plane for my whole life. I'm 31 and I feel like I've been on it since birth. That's how, that's how I feel. And, like, I've watched bare things. I've gone to sleep, woke up, thinking, oh, it must be only a couple of hours, yeah, halfway. Halfway. Halfway, like, let's stop looking at here, yeah. There's still five hours. We're only halfway, <laughs> like, we still gotta get to there. How is this possible? How do people imagine having like a girlfriend who lives in Australia, you live in England, like, you just couldn't do it? You just couldn't. Do it. There's long distance, and then there's just stupid distance. That's like. Oh, it's not even different area codes from. That's like it's like another planet. <laughs> I reckon. I reckon. Seriously, if you got in the space shuttle thing in sixteen hours forty five minutes, I think you'd get into another planet. In sixteen hours forty five minutes, would you not get to another planet? I think you'd get. to no, no. You wouldn't. Nah, it, it feels like it, take, it takes like a week to get to the moon. Oh, this feels like a week. <laughs> <laughs> it does proper it does. does like a week. It proper does, bro. If, this, if, it, if I had to guess what a week would feel like on an airplane. It would be this, basically going to sleep, waking up, and basically the same amount of time has elapsed. Yeah. <laughs> There's no time passing. Yeah. Don't go. Uh, don't go to Australia without going through 20 other places first. The thing is, yeah, we're going at 570 <laughs> miles per hour, <laughs> and it's still taking this long. Five hours and one minute. At least it's not cold outside. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, seriously, I need to. I've watched Shaft at the moment. Um, I'm gonna finish watching that. I Shaft? Know. Yes. We're not going to America, mate. <laughs> yeah, no. We're going to Australia. <laughs> earlier, earlier, I've, I've mis I mistaked. Um, I mis I, I misplaced. Um, we got it wrong. Crocodile did. Crocodile, crocodile, that did the other jokes. I thought that's the same thing, bro. But yeah, the films is not really my thing. But listen, I can tell, mate. Yeah. I'm stick just, to football, mate. Yeah, stick to football. <laughs> Are we underneath the world? We're not underneath the world. We are, because it was on 3D thing, we were underneath. Yeah, but the world's everywhere, mate. We're underneath, mate. <laughs> we're going underneath the world. By rights, we should just fall out. <laughs> it should just dip. We're going underneath the world, bro. Clearly, science is not his strong point, you <laughs> are. I still think the earth is flat, bro. <laughs> no, don't say it, fam. <laughs> I hate the flat earthers. <laughs> Anyway, back to Shaft for me. Yes, See you lot, hopefully, on the other side or maybe at breakfast time.
Yes, so we're here in Perth. Got to the room. Apparently, we've got a decent view. Let's check it out. Oh my god, the size of the beds, bro. Hell yeah. I've got all of that to myself. I could get like three girls in there. I'll edit that bit <laughs> out. <laughs> Ready for the. Right, now normally I do this, yeah, ocean view thing and all of that views thing, yeah, whole Drake views from the six thing, and there's like some bars or some concrete in front of me, but this is Australia. Australia, mate. And this is perfect. Perfect. Oh! Oh, snap. I do like that. See that? We've got the River Thames in the middle there. <laughs> Canary Wharf on the other side. There it is. Yes, yes, yes. I know we can see it from our hotel. I mean, this is what you call the similar location. This is location <laughs> paradise, bro. We are right where we need to be. Look at that, all the city's just there. The stadium's just there. We're just here. This is what I like. It's proper cloudy though, I ain't gonna lie. It's warmer in England right now, but listen, we've got to go to um, Shanghai and Singapore and it's better rain there. It, at least it's dry, so I don't really care about that. Yes, mate, let's room tour. Whee! So obviously the two beds are massive. I think that's like two king size beds. That's not double. Yes, beds. that's what king she said, king size fam. Two kings. For, for two kings! kings. That's what go. I'm seeing. We have got the aircon, but oh, yeah. since that's it's um Australia's winter, I don't really think we're gonna be needing that to be. The fair. weather is lovely, but big screen. Where did we go oh, when it had some tiny ass? It was that Switzerland. Switzerland. Switzerland, the 17 inch TV. It was about it was a size of an iPad. <laughs> it was that, that. Oh yeah. my god, so we've got a decent size TV. Not that we're gonna be in there watching TV that much. Nice little fridge. Oh, fridge. You know, get you some drinks and that, whatever. I like that little kettle. No smoking. Decent little storage in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you don't always know my main thing, what I say, yeah? The bathroom. And what do I always say? I always say it has to be clean and no like little mold all over the place. That's all I ask for. I don't really care about decor. Clean and doesn't stink. That's all I care about. It smells of nothing, which is perfect. Perfect. Perfect, yeah. And it's clean. The bath is huge. I can definitely fit inside it. What's it like being in a bath that low? I feel like a baby. I feel like bro, a little baby. Brother, you look like a baby. Do I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, um, I won't be having any baths, put it that way. This is too small, but I ain't coming to have baths. But it's not a bath. I don't really care. And a shower. And a shower, and the shower's clean. That's all I care about. It's simple, it's plain. That's all I care about, simple. man. It's not basic and it's not five star premium is just the perfect place to stay with what we've come here to do because we're going to be spending the majority of our time outside of this room speaking to Man United fans and doing the real business so yeah man that has been the first bit of our vlog day two I mean really it's day zero really Mark. it's day zero <laughs> <laughs> really it's day zero but I'm telling you this I'm traveling 17 hours and I feel like I'm I'm due a birthday yeah like you said, I started with a with a decent sized beard and now I need a, I need a <laughs> shave. That's how long the flight is. Yeah, I man. need to shave from the flight. So what I'm saying is, it's 17 hours. I want complete culture shock. Complete culture shock. Now I know I sound like the, the old school flipping tourists from England who don't want to go past Margate, only wants to go to the seaside. Because I am only joking, you lot know I love traveling the world. I think I'm just grouchy because I've spent 17 hours on that plane and it just felt like it was never going to end. I thought I thought it would just be on the plane until life ends, just forever, seriously. But, um, it did feel like forever. It, it, felt, it, like, it, it felt like a week. Do you fun. know what I'm saying? It did, it, it's not even like you can put like a, a value on it. Like, how, how did the flight go? Did it feel like 17 hours? No, it didn't. It felt like 24 plus, but... Not complaining, we got here safely. It was. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> if you add in, if you add in the all the travel all time. The travel time, I suppose, it's probably not far off, but the main thing is we got here safely. That is the main thing. Um, yeah, we need to just um, shower up, freshen up, and then get out of here, man. <clears throat> Go explore. But first. Oh, yes. Bed Go test. Let's do this! <clears throat> Oh yeah, my bed's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking faster, bitches. What? Right, bed test. Let's do this, bitches. That was pretty bouncy. You've actually just broke that bed. That's what the bed test is for.
Hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, we certainly didn't travel in 16 hours and 45 minutes. And listen, man, we are funny. I've come this far, yeah? This far, it's taken an attorney. I expect to hear a different accent. At least a different accent. Drive on the same side of the road they do. It's lazy. I've traveled all this time. I want a culture shock. It's basically, it feels like America, actually. It's McDonald's everywhere, KFC everywhere. But I am being a bit miserable and naive because I'm grouchy because it's a long flight. We are going to get out into the club. Um, and, and meet up with some friends and to have to say this the response we're getting from you guys is absolutely mad we're pushing for that 500k keep subscribing to the channel keep pushing keep sharing the videos keep liking the videos keep commenting keep interacting with us because we're, we're here to, to hit that 500,000 mark and obviously speak to as many of you guys as possible here check out tomorrow's vlog I'll see you then Big respect to all you guys for watching that video. Make sure you check out more United Stand content here and here, yeah? Like, subscribe and share. And the socials are along the bottom. You know what to do. Go get following. Go, 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 go.